So hopefully you've just watched the video on how I how I did um, paragraph styles. <clears throat> now I'm going to show you how to do character styles. So the difference is um, if I go and um, want to change this style right here. So that style was artist. So if I go and change the style of the artist, um, let me first point out that it used to be a return here. The artist was on a separate line and I'm going to go in here to the artist and I am going to change the text to say, let's make it bold and say, okay. So nothing has happened. Um, But you can see here that it's got this um, plus sign that said something has been changed, but it hasn't really changed. So if I were to hit the option key and click this button, you see what it just did. It changed the whole paragraph, even though I just wanted to have this artist name changed. It changed the whole paragraph, not just what I'd selected. And the reason that is it's because a paragraph style will um, change everything that is in between a return. Okay, so there was a return here after this paragraph. So it didn't change anything after that return. But where I just selected the artist's name here um, and I didn't select the rest of the paragraph, it still changed the whole paragraph because there was no return between the artist's name. So notice here though, these names did not change um, because I didn't hit that. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a character style. So character style is right here and I'm going to create a new character style. And so let's say it is artist two and I am going to um, use our proxemia and I'm going to make it black and I'm going to give it a color. Notice there are more fewer options here too. So when we do character, there's fewer options. So I'm going to set this style here um, and I can create a shortcut that will be um, shift four this time. I'm going to say okay. Now I'm going to make this, select this artist and hit shift four. See, it just changed what was selected. If I go to change the artist here with the paragraph, if I change a heading here, notice it changed everything. Do command Z. I'm going to go to where I put just a character style and click that. And so it just selects, it just changes what was selected. So here, I'm going to go and correct this. I'm going to go back to my paragraph style. I'm going to make it body text. And then I'm going to grab the artist name. I'm going to go to paragraph and just hit the artist name. So if I were to select anything in here and go and change the paragraph, so here I'm just going to hit heading, it changed that whole paragraph. Where if I go to character, and just, it just changes the part that I have selected. So you can see that can be very helpful when you're going to have a change happen within a paragraph. So it works very much the same. Um, it's got less options um, because of, I'll show you what those options are again. Um, sorry, when I click here and I <laughs> go to a new paragraph style, um, it's got other things that I rarely use, but you could um, have different drop caps, you can add bullets, you can do underlining options, which is sometimes a nice thing to do. Um, there's so many different things that you can do here that most of me don't really very often do. And if, you know, just once you get the hang of it, you can just explore them and see how that works. Okay. The next thing I want to show you is making multiple um, text boxes. So here, if I notice, um, 
this box, I have uh, my corners here. I can move them, you know, shape the change of this box. I can click here and move the change of that box. Notice how all of a sudden there's this little um, red box here. I'm going to make this box bigger and it disappears. So what happens is, notice my last letter here is this K. If I make this box smaller and that K disappears, this shows me that I have text that is hidden. And so it's a, a nice little warning for you. So I want to um, have two paragraphs of text. So I can click on this box here and notice it shows me a little picture of paragraph. So I can click here and generally what it does is it automatically makes the new paragraph with this, the dimensions in between my margins. So I'm going to move this over and you can see you can create multiple paragraphs here and these if I click here so now it shows you this shows me that it, it extends and this is a lock so I can break that lock so now it's not connected here anymore and it's again telling me that I'm missing something so I can click this text here and then it links the little linking sign so it shows me that this links if I go and I make this box smaller it runs it to the next line okay so you can have multiple boxes and another way to have two um, columns that are you want to keep things tidy and you want them to be the same width so I'm going to go up into object text frame options now I'm working with text so I ordinarily would think it was under tech type but it is under the object it's thinking of it as a box so under text frame options you have several different things going on here um, the thing that we mostly use it for is to change the number of columns within a text box so I'm going to make this two and I'm going to change the gutter the gutter is the space in between the two columns and the standard is this point one six six seven which I think is too small I always make it at least a quarter of an inch so I've changed it to two columns you can see I can change it to three columns say okay and then I can spread that out so no matter how um, small I make this box or how large it keeps the space in between these two columns even okay so I can go you've probably done this before you hit return 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 to get something to go up to the next line but um, if you have the extended keyboard which I like to have with um, these programs you can hit the op, um, enter key on the extended keyboard and it will move your text to the next column or the next page so here instead of going return 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 I can just hit enter and it sends it to the next um, column which is great because if you had hit return return you know one return and then you start adding more text in here um, you know it wraps it differently so um, actually what I meant to say was that wasn't a good example if I had hit return 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 so this went to the next line and then I started adding more text here um, it can end up see it caused a, a new return on there so if I were to instead of doing that if I had just hit instead of getting those spaces and I hit enter if I start adding more text here I can keep adding text and it's not going to move this because it's not a, an actual return 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 so um, again let me show you how to do that so this was under object text frame options I can change it now to two columns and I will say okay and there it just automatically changed to two columns you can see here now it's got this plus sign because I had force the text to a third column but I can go back and get that by just selecting it and deleting that return um, so this is how you can manage multiple um, text boxes but keep them connected at the same time I hope this is helpful